morning, everybody. My name is Gabriela. Good morning, everybody. My name is Emmanuel. And welcome to our morning prayer. Thank you. Say bye. God bless bye. you. Bye. God bless you. you. Stay away from the coronavirus. Bye. Bye. All right. Okay. That's something that our children wanted to do for everyone this morning. And uh, we want to thank everyone who's taking the time uh, in spending, uh, you know, spending with us on Facebook at this at this moment. And... Um, this morning, God put in my heart to keep telling everybody that He is our Father. He is our Father. He loves us so much. He does not care what you did in the past. He always is thinking about us. He is always caring for us, providing for us in a supernatural way. So this morning, we're just going to sing two songs. My wife and I and my children are so blessed to be to do this on Facebook and to reach out to as many people as possible. We are all in the same boat and we all need God together. So as we are going to sing, as we are going to worship God in the next few minutes and I'm going to share something short, a, a short message, I pray that God would touch each and every one of us including my wife and I and may we decrease and may his presence and his glory increase into from our home and into your home so father God we praise you and we give you the glory Lord uh, we leave the rest the rest of this time into your hands in Jesus mighty name we pray amen He is the living God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He says, I am your God and you are my people. Let's praise him, people. Let's praise him. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down every ocean's roll to the lord of hosts let's praise him praise at the night from the rising of the sun to the end of every day praise at the night all the nations of the earth all the angels and the saints King, the lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean's roll to the Lord. 
Everlasting love. He has you in his hands. He said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. For he loves us so much. And I'm going to repeat myself every now and then. He said, I am your God and you are my people. So let's praise him. Praise and from the rising of the sun to the end of every day, praise and all night. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints, sing praise and all night. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Father God. We love you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. He is a great God. He is a mighty God. Hallelujah. And that God loves you and loves me. Can we all join together and sing? What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you, none like you. Into the darkness we shine, out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you, none like you. Come on, our God is greater. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome and power our God. Out of the ashes we rise, there's no one like you, none like you. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is leader, awesome. get anything more personal my brothers and sisters he has made such a personal statement we have nothing to fear oh, and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then what could stand against and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then what could stand Stay. 
stand against us. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? Then what could stand against? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you are so wonderful. Let's just open up our mouths and thank God for who He is. Amen. He is the all-knowing God, the everlasting God, the Prince of Peace. Lord, we invite you, Father, in this place. Yes. We invite you, Father, to come and take control, Father. Amen. And I pray, Father, that everyone who is watching, Father, will feel your presence wherever they are, Lord. Amen. Let the floodgates of heaven open, Lord. Yes. Let there be an open heaven, Father, wherever we are, Father. Yes. Lord, you deserve all the glory, all the praise. There is none like you, Father. Yes. You are Jehovah, Rapha, the yes. one who healeth. You yes. are El Shaddai. God Almighty and who we are Father mm -hmm. that you are so mindful of us Lord Hallelujah. that you call each one of us by name Amen. you engraved us in the palm of your hand yes. and you called us your friend yes. we thank you Father for amazing grace that surrounds us Thank you, Jesus. Your grace, Father, which is abundant, even though we do not deserve it, Father. Amen. Amen. Yet you died on the cross. You paid it all for us, Father. Yes, Lord. And some of us, at times, we still forget, Father, the price that you paid. Amen. And we walk, Father, not knowing the abundant life that you have given us, Lord. Yes, Lord. And, and, and the price that you paid for us, Lord. Yes. Help us, Father, to know you more and more in the coming days. Amen. To spend more time in your presence, to walk in your ways, Father. Thank you, Jesus. So that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord, if there is anything, Lord, which is distracting us from coming, closer to you from getting to know you yes. in a deeper way father we yes. rebuke it right now in the name, name of jesus. jesus yes and we render it powerless lord amen amen and lord amen. we know father that you have made us in your own image yes. and and we we have the same holy spirit in us and help us to know our worth father even though all the chaos happening around us, Father, help us to know that we are more than conquerors. Amen. And Lord, I pray for everyone who is watching this tonight, Amen. that you will be a, uh, that you will meet them at their point of need. Thank you, Lord. 
whoever is sick, Father, I pray for healing over their physical bodies Amen. and their spiritual souls. Amen. I pray, Father, that your life will be an example, Lord, that they can look up to and they will know, Father, that they have the power to cast out demons, to Amen. heal the sick, yes. Yes. and to set captives free. Yes. And Lord, help us to understand that we have the same power to do it for ourselves, for Amen. our bodies, Father. Amen. Amen. And Lord, I pray, Lord, your peace will cover everyone, Lord, who is watching this program. Thank you, Lord. Even after this uh, program ends, Father, I pray, Lord, that your power, Lord, will still move in a mighty way, Father. And as we listen to your word, Father, help us, Lord, to understand every word and dissect it, Father, so that we can bear much fruit for your kingdom. We give you the praise and glory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is safe in their homes and uh, enjoying this time with family. There's no greater time. You know, many of us, uh, we used to say, we have no time. But now God has given us all the time in the world to spend with children, to spend husbands spending more time with their wives and wives spending more time with their husbands and interacting with children. You know, one of the first things after God creating everything, He made man and woman and He blessed them and He said, you know, go forth, increase and multiply. He made families. So, one of the most important things for God is when He sees families coming together and, uh, you know, uh, staying together with love and keeping Him in the center of it all. But today I just want to share something that God put in my heart. Um, I've brought something here and I want to share it with you. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but it's in my hand. You can see a small little speck. So, I just went to the kitchen and brought, uh, you know, one mustard seed. And I want to talk, the Bible, God, Jesus himself spoke about a mustard seed. And I want to talk about a mustard seed. Um, I've read this verse, Matthew 17, 20. You know, uh, it goes like this. You did, not, you did not have enough faith, Jesus told them. If you, if, I tell you the truth, if you had faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you should say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. I've read this many times and uh, I thought, okay, at least if we have a little faith, you know, we could do wonders. It's true. We need to, I mean, at least little faith, God could work. But as, you know, I started to get a little bit mature in Christ and every day I'm growing in Christ, I'm learning new things, just like you, um, I got this revelation. And... I had the leading to go on Google and uh, to see, to do a small little research on the mustard seed. Now, as far as I know, when I was a little kid, my father during Christmas time, he used to make a crib and he will put sand and he put glass and blue paper down and he'll sprinkle some mustard seed over the sand and we'll water it every day. And to far, the most I could remember, I've seen mustard seed, you know, shooting up to about this size. And by the time it comes to this size, in that crib, um, January 5th comes and we take it off and that's all I've ever seen. But this is what I found out in Google. Mustard seed, you know, a mustard bush 
reaches an average measure height of between 6 to 20 feet with a 20 foot spread. Although exceptional, plants can reach 30 feet tall under ideal circumstances. This is what I have got from Google and I was amazed. I am six foot. Such a small seed. They said it could grow from six, from six foot to 20 feet. Such a small seed. And it's not by mistake that Jesus picked mustard seed. He could have taken a mango seed or an olive uh, sprout or he could have taken anything else. He chose to take a mustard seed, the smallest. And he's, he said, if you had faith as small as a mustard seed, meaning you and me, brothers and sisters, you and me, we see the seed. When we talk of mustard seed, you and me see the seed in the natural. But Jesus is not talking about mustard seed in the natural. He sees what's inside the seed. Inside the seed is a 6 to 20 foot tall tree. Inside the seed, there are million more mustards that is going to come out and produce more fruit. And today, I want to encourage you my brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, and if you put your faith in God, and if you keep Him as, as number one foundation in your life, in, if you keep Him in the center of your life, you are destined to grow big. God will raise you up. Your faith will start to produce fruit. Does not matter if you have done bad things in the past. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I was never like this. Holding the Bible in my hand and talking good things. Once upon a time, I did say, I did say a lot of bad words. I did do a lot of bad things in my life. But the day I gave my life to Christ, the day I said, Lord, enough. For 33 years of my life, I did many things that the world wanted me to do. And I enjoyed it at that time. I did not know there was another side of life. I did not know when I came to the living waters, and I drank from the living waters, my strength, my mind, my soul will be renewed. I did not know that. I read it. I heard it. I heard about it from people. I never experienced it until I experienced it. And today God has blessed me beyond measure. And I want to encourage each and every one of you. If you call on the name of Jesus, if you have done it in the past, and if you are baptized, and if you say, yes, I have faith, that's all it takes. Now, what you have just declared, you need to live it. You need to walk in that faith. You need to walk in the Word of God. The Word of God can lead us. When I started to read about that mustard seed, forgive me, I'm not very bright. I wasn't a bright student in, in school. It took me a long time to learn things. But when I started to read how big a mustard seed could grow, I was so amazed. I was so amazed. And today, you might, you might feel I'm nobody in this world. You might feel, you know, I'm the least amongst my brothers and sisters. You might feel so small in society because people have looked down upon you. People, 
you know, took you for granted. But what this world puts aside, that's, that will shine in the hand of the Lord. And today, God is telling you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you could speak to your mountains, you could speak to your addictions, you could speak to your problems, you could speak to, the, to your finances, you could speak to whatever is holding you down from your faith growing, from you getting closer to God. You could speak to those things. Hallelujah. This is what I want to encourage you this morning. And I feel the Spirit of God is moving mightily in this time and hour. The world is locked down. Everyone are in their homes. Satan plans something. But God, in that moment of darkness, God's light is shining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's brought families together. He's brought children together. Brothers and sisters, spending time, valuable time. Husbands and wives, spending valuable time. This is the time we need to bring our little faith together. Join our hearts together and start praising the name of the Lord. Start calling upon His holy name. Because if we don't do it now, we will never prepare our homes for the days to come. There are going to be more trial Trial, trial and more difficult days coming ahead. Yes, I, I don't know what's going to come. But Jesus said, in the last days there'll be more famine, there'll be more sickness, there'll be more wars, people fighting against each other. So today I urge you, my brothers and sisters, before I could close. Whatever you've been doing in your home, in your life, that is displeasing to God, now is your time. Let faith arise. Throw away everything that is not of God. Hallelujah. Many things have been kept above God. The, the basic thing is even the way we worship and we look at God is wrong sometimes. Many people are far away from reading the word of God. I have spoken to a few, few of my people around and uh, I asked them, have you read the Bible? They say, yes, we do read the Bible. We read Psalms. So many wonderful promises in the Bible. But they say, yeah, we read Psalms. We need to grow up. We need to get stronger in Christ. We, let, we need to let that small faith that is in the corner of our hearts. Let the Holy Spirit water that little faith and let it grow big like the mustard tree. And let it produce fruit. We are in the end times. So let us close our eyes this morning and I thank, thank you Jesus for everyone who's watching this program. We thank you Jesus that they have heard your word and I, and I bless them in Jesus' name. Just like that mustard seed, it's so small but yet it grows so big. Father God, I pray for your people. Whoever comes in your presence with the smallest faith, Lord, you are going to touch them. You are going to multiply their blessings, Lord. Glory will shine upon them, Lord, and their household. Their children will be blessed in the days to come, Lord. Father God, every time when I watch the TV, the world is coming 
into a different phase at this moment lord people are talking about the chip that is going to be implanted people are talking about one world government people are talking about one world currency everything that you want us lord in your bible it's coming lord and it's your will that none should perish father god speak to your people let them come closer to you lord let them come closer to you father god thank you jesus we bless every family and we cover every family with the blood of jesus no weapon formed against that family will prosper we bless the children of every home that they will have a revelation to come closer to you lord we bless every first born that satan will never destroy them lord they will lead the way and we will and they will speak words of blessing over their families we pray for every man who is serving in the ministry we thank you father god every pastor every evangelist every priest every nun we bless them in the name of jesus that they would see that we will all seek you turn from our wicked ways lord we will all seek you lord we would lead your people to the to the right path lord and not lead anyone astray master god thank you jesus thank you jesus we pray for all the people who are sick father god let your healing hand touch them and heal them we pray for all the married couples who are going through a tough time father god bind them with cords that cannot be broken thank you jesus we pray for every child and youngster the youth of this time father god send your warrior angels to protect their minds to protect their hearts that they will think of you they would think of the good things and not of the wicked thank you jesus thank you jesus father god we give you the praise the glory and the honor in jesus mighty name we pray amen and god's people said amen we thank you for watching us and spending a little time with us next week 11:30 am saturday please do join us just a little while we will spend time with with god gather your family gather your friends tell them about this program and on every sunday at 9 am we are telecasting on shilo church chennai on youtube english service and tamil service so if you have no place to attend service like if your if your church or your prayer center is not telecasting anything you could feel free to go to youtube type shilo church chennai and uh, watch our services we thank you once again god bless you and your families and stay safe until next week and remember keep praising the name of god it does not matter what you have done in the past but if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you will see wonderful things happen in your life and in your home god bless you